splash, splash. Apply a little splash. When your windshield's getting dirty, just apply a little splash. When your windshield's full of grime, bugs, dirt, and snow, just use a little splash and be safe on the road. Splash, splash, splash. Apply a little splash. When your windshield's getting dirty, just apply a little splash. See safely on the road when you apply a little splash. FVP Auto Parts work. Trusted, tested, selected. You know what works. FVP Stay Tuned works. Engine buildup doesn't stand a chance. FVP. Reach for what works. With you once again from White Bear Lake, the home of the White Bears at the White Bear Lake Sports Center. It's the 2019 Moose Goheen Tournament on Youth Hockey Hub presented by FVP. This is the Pee Wee Championship game between Woodbury and Champlin Park. Good afternoon, J.W. Cox with you here from White Bear Lake. We've got the Rebels at 2-0-1. Their most convincing victory, their last, 8-3 over Eastview. But a 4-3, one goal lead over Rosemount in pool play. And in game one, they were tied up at three. Their lone non-victory of the tournament so far. They tied Duluth East at three apiece. So 15 goals scored, nine allowed. They go up against Woodbury, who has not allowed a goal in the tournament so far. 6-0 over Andover, 2-0 over Prior Lake, and 9-0, 9-0, that is, over the Minneapolis Storm. We're underway, the first 15 minutes underway. Cohen New off to our right, defending in net for Champlin Park, and he gets a bounding puck in towards his right pad, and he steers it away. The other side, it will be Andrew Lane in net for Woodbury. They're in white, going left to right, in the dark blue for Champlin Park and the Rebels. Will Scahan firing it in front, and again, New slides over to the near side post and directs the puck away. Made a couple of saves already. Rebels trying to work it up around the boards on the far side. Brent Solomon up on those far side boards, trying to step inside the defensive work of Skahan. Back it comes on the near side, wrapping all the way around the boards. 45 seconds gone under control from Ben Miller for Woodbury. Back to the middle it goes for Lucas Mann. Mann sliding between the circles. Lost the puck, deflected away, and the defense there to push it to the blue line. Held back in by Dominic Kopp. Kopp sends it down inside the circle. Held up there momentarily as... Cole Jerpseth trying to rip it away for the Rebels. In behind the net. Out of the traffic it comes and swept up with the backhand of Solomon out to neutral ice. 13.50 to go. Woodbury playing it back up ice. It's Boston Kellner. Kellner takes a big time blast at it. Just comes off the end of his stick and sails wide. Allows the Rebels to clear it out towards the blue line. Caught up there by Kopp. Kopp pushes it back down for Woodbury. They scored nine goals in that one game mentioned. Their last one against the Minneapolis Storm in pool play. Puck slides out of the zone. Hensler with it backwards. Cycles back around, crossing over the ice on the far side. He'll make his way all the way into the zone. Left the puck back at the blue line. It was poked away by Cooper New that time. Force Woodbury to bring it back out. Fired over to the far side. Zolnowski right in, and Zolnowski will shoot and score. 
Skates his way home from the far side, boards through the circle, walls off a defender, and beats Cohen New to the right side. So 13-09. Gone in the first. And it's Zolnowski. Who gets Woodbury on the board? Rebels with some early pressure, popped inside, Lane standing, trying to knock down the puck, never did get it, it's still free. Pokes back out towards the circle. Still no whistle as the Rebels continue to hack at it. And it's finally locked up in the crease. And what are they gonna call interference? Twelve forty-five to go. So that one never was covered up. We'll stay one nothing in favor. Oh, we will have a penalty coming up. So it will be a penalty shot. As they did eventually, as the puck was uncovered, continued. And it might have been on the goaltender, but any way you get it, you get Trevor Averwald in on the penalty shot. Crosses over, flips it up, backhand, and just a bit too high. He got Lane out of position. And Averwald unable to knock it home, so he stay 1-0. Chance for Averwald to tie it up and get the first goal of the tournament allowed by Woodbury. So I'm not sure who the penalty was called on, but in that scrum in front of the net. No surprise that one comes. And it turns into a penalty shot. Off the draw. Aberwald tracks it down in the corner for Champlin Park, so they had a golden opportunity there to get on the board first, couldn't do it. Aberwald threw some traffic, turned away by Woodbury. Through the middle of the ice, knocked away, and Lucas Mann trying to recover for Woodbury. Plays it all the way back, then up to Miller. Then Miller sends a fluttering puck into New, and he steers it back below the goal line. 12-10 to go here in this first period, a 1-0 lead for Woodbury. Penalty shot goes awry for Champlin Park to try and potentially tie this one up. Long shot, deflects in, Bernovic. Back below the goal line. Knocked up on the near side. Mason Rudine plays it back through neutral ice. Champlin Park takes it away. Nicholas Carlson sends it back up towards the Woodbury zone. Taken in by Cameron Peach. Back in the middle, a spin and a shot for Nicholas Carlson. Goes too high. Rebound down and played out by Woodbury. Pushed up through center ice. To the near side it goes, looking for Miller. Miller off the boards, trying to step inside a defender. Instead, he's walled off by Jerpseth. Dumps it in behind the net. Quick passing in front. Man centering there. The shot goes into the back of the net with 11-10 to go here in this first. A 1-0 lead for Woodbury. To the near side boards. Just flies in a little too hard past Peach. Back through neutral ice. Tipped off the skate of a Rebel. Ahead it goes. Blissenbach. Trying to catch up to it, can't get inside Jerpseth. 10.50 to go, peeled off the boards by Rudine. Back along the boards on the near side. Jerpseth, make it Kale Eyed. Working it all the way in front of the net. Eventually lost it, Eyed gets it back though, along the goal line. Tries to throw it off the boards to get some space. Work from Austin Johnson to come over in support. Eyed pushes it back out towards the blue line. Johnson to track it down. Walled off over there by Joe Luger. Loose puck in the corner, and it's Woodbury first to it. Luger picks it up, pushes it along the boards. Cooper New tries to hold it in. New eventually gets a second chance at it, pushes it down to Austin Johnson. Onto the stick of Blissenbach for Woodbury, and sent around behind the net. Played out of the corner with 10 minutes to go here in the first. Olsen fires the puck towards the blue line. It's knocked down by Rudine initially. Rudine 
Greeted rudely at the boards on the near side. It's picked up by Aberwald. Aberwald at the circle, fires it back towards the middle. Quick one-time shot knocked down by Lane. Bernovic filling that gap right there in the middle. Takes the shot. Nine forty-eight remaining. First period action, a quick goal from Tanner Zolnowski for Woodbury. He's got it again in the corner. Works in behind the net, trying to center, had Kellner out in front. From the corner, back up along the near side boards. Outside the circle it goes, Hensler. Hensler walking in along the goal line, dumped it off to Henricks. Back out, Zolnowski trying to hold on in the zone. It slips right back past him. Tracked down deep by Hensler. Hensler working it back at the circle, fires over to the far side. Back up to center ice for Kellner. Kellner at the blue line. Hensler over on the far side, dumped off the boards. Bellows caught up in traffic, and the Rebels able to push the puck back down the other side of the ice. It was tipped, no icing. We play on. Tracked down by Hensler. Again, no goals allowed in the tournament so far in the first three games by Woodbury. You like what Champlin Park has done here over the last five minutes to keep them off the board again, but the Rebels have to find a way to solve this defense. Lane makes the save, and on the rebound, it's cleared away. Eight and a half minutes to go. Down the ice it comes. Slide all the way back for an icing. Get us to a change here. Coverage of the Moose Goheen 2019 Invitational. Brought to you by FVP here on Youth Hockey Hub. FVP is a dominating lineup. Reach for what works with FVP oil, antifreeze, stay tuned batteries, and more. Visit your local automotive shop or retailer for a full lineup of FVP products. 8.20 to go as it's ripped around the boards on the far side. Sent through neutral ice up ahead. Ben Miller ahead of the pack. Tries to leave it back into the middle for man. It's deflected away and off the boards. Miller, though, still tracks it down, plays it to Mann now in the corner. Back to Miller. Miller out front, stick handles, pushes to the near side, shot and a score. Great feed from Miller. And finished off on the near side, I believe that's Colin Ingebrigtsen. He was able to tap in that feed. Either Ingebrigtsen or Rudin. Here with eight minutes to go, and it's 2-0. Favor of the Rebels. Ingebrigtsen from Miller and Mann. Eight minutes to go. Here in this first, and it's 2-0 Woodbury. First of our championship games that has been, or has featured, rather, a two-goal margin. First one we had at the Bantam level, never separated by more than a goal. Long shot from outside the blue line, gloved and dropped back down by Lane. Rebels trying to find a way to put some pressure on. Instead, it's Woodbury. Skahan dumps it over to the far side. Picked up and intercepted by Carlson. Carlson back to the middle. Sweeping shot right there goes wide from Brent Solomon. Seven minutes remaining here in the first. By the way, we'll have a longer intermission at the first. Is on the break, Rudine flying down the ice outside the circle. Fires that shot. It's settled in by New. 6.54 to go. And resurfacing in this tournament after every two periods. So we had a period... Plus overtime. The game prior to this. Long shot. Deflected around and in. Davis Polifka sent it in from the blue line, and we'll see who it was deflected off of. Polifka started it in, and it looked like the official was sorting out Rudine. Who eventually got the deflection. Any way you slice it, it's a third goal. Oh 
for Woodbury. We'll say that was touched by a defensive stick, so it is Polifka who gets all of it. So Polifka gets the goal. Rudine gets the assist. Pass out in front. This one slips in front from the circle. Long shot. Nails the back of a teammate there. Goaltender goes down. Whistle things dead and bring us out to neutralize. So a 3-0 lead for Woodbury. And they can focus on that defense. Meanwhile, for Champlin Park, trying to find their way to the only goal ever scored against Woodbury in this tournament so far. The Rebels had a chance with the penalty shot. They've put some pressure on. They haven't been keeping track of shots on goal here for this peewee matchup. Hensler in close to the goal line. Dumps it back out to the blue line. It goes for Kopp. Cop working along the board, steps around two defenders, centers that pass, and the shot goes wide. He found George Bellows. That one slips out of the zone, so it'll be offsides with five and a half minutes to go. Here in this first period, coverage here on Youth Hockey Hub of the 2019 Moose Goheen Invitational Tournament. Presented by FVP, makers of the Splash Ice Melt Shaker Bag. Simply tear open and shake on surfaces where safety really matters. It's the Splash Ice melt shaker bag. 5.28 remaining here in this first period. Back at the blue line. Man working his way in. Loose puck. New down on his pads and able to steer it away. Help of the defense out in front. Not out of the frying pan yet is... Woodbury still has it, the shot in front from Ingebrigtsen. Bounces wide to the corner it goes as he'll try to chase it down and a whistle and a penalty coming up. Cross check. This one coming up on Cole Jerpseth. So power play opportunity for Woodbury. Up three to nothing here in the first. Pucks over to the far side. Skahan settles it there. Plays it off the corner. Working on this near side with Mann. Back to a crashing and shooting Hendricks and two saves made by Cohen New. Back in front for Mann. Settles it over to the far side. Off the stick of Hendricks, plays it off the boards. He settles at the blue line as the puck dumps down into the corner. Minute 30 remaining in the power play. Hendricks back to the far side. Through the circle under the control of Miller. Dumps it back to Hendricks. Fires the pass. He thought Skahan was still going to be there. Goes wide, deflected on his way around the boards with a minute 15 to go. Stays in the zone as Skahan twirls and sends it down to Mann. Mann fighting through the circle. Mann takes the shot, steered away by New. Cohen New forces it into the corner. Chance to clear over there for Nicholas Carlson. Instead, Woodbury takes it away. It's Miller, the bouncing puck, going wide to the far side. 58 seconds remaining in the power play. Just under four to go here in the first period. Woodbury looking to add to their lead. Skahan takes the shot, that one wide. Bangs off the boards and cleared on the far side by Milton. Check that. It was Carlson who did get the clear. Skahan takes it right back in. Skahan fires. Shot was saved initially, but it trickles through New. Plenty on it from Will Skahan, and it's a 4-0 lead here with 3.40 to go. The power play goal becomes the fourth of the game for, Ch for Woodbury. So 3.40 to go here in this first period. On the power play. Back to even strength with three and a half minutes to go. From the near side boards, played by Rudine, popped up in the air for Woodbury. Rebels with Matthew Lang trying to get it back, swept into the zone by Burnovic. 
Vernovic and Lang chase down into the corner with three minutes to go here in the first period. From the blue line, it hops back out on the stick under control from Aberwald. Aberwald ends up down on the deck, pushed off the puck by the Woodbury defense. Polifka up the near side, sends it down into the corner as it wraps around behind New. 4-0 the lead for Woodbury. Sent out to the blue line. Peach will take it up ice. He'll flutter that puck ahead towards Lane. He'll stick it off to the near side. Hensler picks it up and spins back down the ice. Leaves three defenders behind. Has two still out in front. Flies into the zone. Around another defender. Takes the shot. New makes the save. There on the rebound for the fifth goal comes Woodbury on the score. And it's Ben Tauscher who taps it in. 5-0 the lead for Woodbury. Two thirty-five remaining. Five nothing on the lead. Another even strength goal for Woodbury. Their high in the tournament has been nine. That was against Minneapolis in their final game of pool play. Zolnowski pushes ahead. Zolnowski in on new. He'll shoot. He'll score. And it's six nothing. Zolnowski becomes the first two-time scorer for Woodbury. Going on the break with plenty of speed. Two ten remaining. Off the draw, center ice. Hensler works his way through two defenders outside the circle. Fires it over. Zolnowski on the far side, and that one will go home. And he'll have a hat trick just like that. And that will be eight. With 2.04 remaining. Check that. That's seven. Jumping the gun here in the first with two minutes to go. Turned over. Right back for Anderson. He'll take the shot. Lane makes the save. In on a crash for Bernovic. After that puck, trying to get one back with a minute 45 to go. Opportunistic takeaway there for Austin Anderson. They put up eight goals in a game against Eastview. Nothing but the defensive history of Woodbury says they couldn't do it again here. But they've got to go to work. From the blue line, knocked around, down at the feet of Aberwald. Aberwald turns the corner, tries to shovel that one in on lane. Covers it up with a minute 45 to go here in the first. Puck tips its way down to the blue line, played backwards by Jerpseth. Sent over to the near side from neutral ice. Pushed up ahead to Ingebrigtsen. Ingebrigtsen outside the circles. It's swept away by Lang. Lang clears the zone. Minute 20 to go. Lang trying to track it down. Beat to the puck by Woodbury. Up on the near side. Miller sweeping inside the circle. Back to Henricks. Henricks back to Miller. Miller at the circle trying to stick handle and skate handle his way down to the goal line. Hops up all the way back to the blue line. Henricks has it there. Fighting against a couple of Rebel defenders. Man goes down. Miller from the wall. Has it taken away. Fluttering puck out towards the blue line. It's center ice, and it's taken away under control by the Rebels. Break back the other way for Peach. Peach fires it in, and a toe save made by Lane. Good breakaway. The Rebels turning it into some possession here with Carlson. Pinned along the boards. Brent Solomon trying to work it away. It's flipped up by Henricks. 40 seconds to go in the period. Swept back down the ice. 35 seconds to go from the circle. Milton in behind the goal line. Up to Cameron Peach again on the near side. Bounces back into the Rebel zone. Austin Anderson plays it back at his own goal line with 19 seconds to go in the period. Flips it up the boards. Puck spins on its end. Back inside the blue line. Swept back out of the zone by Woodbury with 10 seconds to go. In comes Blissenbach. Pass back to the middle for Tauscher. Tauscher touches the puck out to Polifka. Polifka, the loose puck to the circle, and that gets us to the end of the period. 
Seven goals in the first for Woodbury. They continue what has been their trend in this tournament. We will get a resurface here and a longer intermission between the first and the second. So we'll be back after a short pause with the second period of this one. Woodbury with a 7-0 lead in the Pee Wee 2 way championship game of the 2019 Moose Goheen Tournament on Youth Hockey Hub presented by FVP. Splash, splash, splash. Apply a little splash. When your windshield's getting dirty, just apply a little splash. When your windshield's full of grime, bugs, dirt, and snow, just use a little splash and be safe on the road. Splash, splash, splash. Apply a little splash. When your windshield's getting dirty, just apply a little splash. See safely on the road when you apply a little splash. FVP Auto Parts work. Trusted, tested, selected. You know what works. FVP Stay Tuned works. Engine buildup doesn't stand a chance. FVP. Reach for what works.
Back with you here at White Bear Lake, the White Bear Lake Sports Center, home of the 2019 Moose Goheen Invitational Tournament. Or after the first period here in your Pee Wee Championship, it's all Woodbury, 7-0 leading Champlin Park. They got goals in that first from Zolnowski three times. Ingebrigtsen, Polifka, Skahan, and Tauscher. So 10 seconds gone in period number two. Right to left goes Woodbury in the white uniforms with the blue and gold. Predators, by the way, their chosen mascot for their club. Most of these other teams that we've seen at the Goheen taking on the nicknames and logos, mascots of the high schools at the upper levels. But Woodbury going with the Predators as opposed to the Royals. Of course, feed a couple of different schools. Champlin Park sticking with that Rebel moniker here. Down 7 nothing. Rebels take it away with Brent Solomon trying to work it up the ice. Flings it up the near side. The Moose Goheen Invitational Tournament honoring the first ever Minnesota born inductee into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Second one from the U.S., Hobie Baker being the first. Goheen, longtime St. Paul Athletic Club hockey player, St. Paul Saint. Playing at the turn of the century. Pucky in front. And Cohen New. Put on skis there just a bit. Let's see who that was. Might have been Zolnowski again. Either way, it's an 8-0 lead, and they're one off what has been their tournament high. Let's see who they give it to. This new watch as closely as it's poked away. Anderson. Knocks it away into the corner. Rebels. Push it back to neutral ice. Turned by Zolnowski back up ice. In past the blue line, he'll shoot that one too high. Looking for the top shelf. Bang back down on the near side. Chase there for Ide. So Zolnowski picked up the assist. I believe he's had Bellows on the goal. Eight nothing lead. Arm in the air as it's touched up. It is all the way back for an icing with 12.53 to go. So it was Osseo Maple Grove, the Crimson. Who won the Bantam Championship just before this. Just a few seconds into double overtime, beating Pryor Lake. 4-3 was the final there after the Lakers had tied it up with 19 seconds to go. And the drama unfolded in the first here in the Pee Wee Championship. With seven goals out of the gates for Woodbury, they've tacked on one more here in the second. Twelve and a half minutes to go. Rudine tracks it down for Woodbury, loses it along the far side boards. Pushed up for the Rebels out of the zone. Bernovic taps it up ahead, bangs down into the corner with 12 minutes to go. Lane plays it there out of the net. Pushed up on the near side by Luger. Tauscher works it ahead once again for Woodbury. He's just bumped off the puck. Blissenbach trying to work his way home inside of 12 minutes to play here in the period. Tauscher after it again as the puck's in the corner. He's got Blissenbach in the middle. Dumps it down along the boards, back behind the net. Carlson tracks it down for the Rebels. Back out past the blue line. It hops over to Johnson. Johnson running two on one. He'll fire that long shot. It goes wide. He had Solomon with him on the right wing. Solomon catches up to the rebound, whips it around. Peach in behind the net. 11 and a half minutes to go here in the second. Worked back out of the Woodbury zone. Rebels 
Push it out of their zone again, but it's played back there by Luger. Luger with some control, moving away from the defender. Eide went down to the deck. Luger spinning, tries the backhand. Also had Henricks there coming behind him. It's taken away. Pushed up the ice on the break. Here comes New. Cooper New is walled off the puck by Kellner. Written down to the corner. Swept away as Hendricks tries to clear. Got it to the far side. Long shot coming in off the stick of a Rebel on that far side. Oliver Milton's shot was deflected away in front. Possession still held on. That one flipped in from the blue line by Anderson. Off the boards, played in behind the net. Four players converging back there, nearly ripped away by Austin Johnson. To the corner it goes. Woodbury trying to clear. It drops down at the circle. Shot back in. Lane makes the glove save and shifts it to the near side. Opportunistic look for Kale Eide again. Able to reach up and pull that clear attempt right down to his feet and take the shot with ten and a half to go. Changes both ways. Eight nothing Woodbury with the lead. Here at the home of the Bears of White Bear Lake High School. The White Bear Lake Sports Center. Talked about it in our first game. A lot of character, a very old building, but they've also done some upgrades over the years to make it comfortable. There's a rendering of a new facade that is scheduled. Is that shot long? To the near side just wide. Ten minutes to go here in this second period. But even in its current format, Good place to watch some hockey is that shot from the blue line from Hendricks, his glove down by New. Interesting setup. It's got the benches, the bleachers rather, on the opposite side of the benches. And above that, for the lower, I guess the lower eighth of the slanted roof, it lets the light in. The natural light comes in plus part of the wall behind us. So you get a little natural light during the daytime. Sun setting now, so not the effect that it was giving during our first game. But it's a nice touch when you're inside watching a lot of hockey. Don't lose track of days and nights. That one back out in front, slides away as New able to toe tap that one to the far side, helped by the defense to sweep it clean. Held in at the blue line by Woodbury. Under nine and a half to play here in the second. Finally hops out of the zone. Rebels able to push it back down, force Lane to play it. Clock stops on the icing with 9.16 remaining. Played back. One by Woodbury, a bouncing puck just sails wide. Picked up by the Rebels, swept away from behind the net by Carlson. Pushed back up the ice on the far side, deflected back down. Carlson trying to find a seam to clear it. Pushes it up the ice to the far side for Cooper New. New back to center ice right there on the sick of Scahan, though, for Woodbury. He turns the corner at the blue line, steps inside the rebel zone. Puck caught up, though. Two defenders take it away. Carlson work it again. He crosses the ice with the pass to the near side for Austin Anderson. Anderson puts it up along the glass. It sneaks past him. Icing waved off as it was touched up by Woodbury. Eight and a half to go. To the near side, Ingridson, who had one of the seven goals in the first, slides down to a stop as he's hounded by Anderson, able to dump it back down, played by Lane in behind the net. Settles it down for Scahan. And a whistle is going to give us the faceoff here to the glove side of Lane. Woodbury trying to finish off a Pee Wee Championship here at the Moose Goheen Tournament for 2019. Out to an 8-0 lead with 8.20 to go here in this second period. Back to the blue line it goes. Olsen crosses the ice with the pass to the far side. Knocked into the corner. Peeled out by Woodbury. Held in over there by Averwald. Excuse me, that's Jerpson. They able to hold it at the blue line. Knocked it back down. It was tapped in again by Cooper New. Woodbury able to push it out quickly. New in against the glass. And it hopped back towards Ide. 
We're going to neutralize faceoff. Seven fifty-eight to go here in the second. Puck in behind the net, taken away by Luger. Work to the corners. He's hounded over there by Aberwald on the forecheck, trying to keep it. Arm in the air. Penalty coming up. There'll be a hold on Woodbury. That'll give Champlain Park the power play opportunity. Penalty coming up on Joe Luger. Pushed out of the zone to start the penalty. Pushed back in by Champlin Park. Bernovic floats the puck down into the corner. Pops out high of the circle. Kicked down by Lucas Mann. Mann ahead of the pack, shorthanded. Mann, he'll fire the feed over to the far side, and it's just missed by Hendricks. New was there to help turn it away, but Hendricks didn't get all that puck. Man there to take it away again on the far side. Minute 20 to go on the power play opportunity. Rebels swarm on the puck in behind the net, but Man takes it away. Looking for someone to feed it to out front. He's got Miller floating around. Rebels finally clear. Miller taps it on his way to center ice. 6.40 to go here in the period. Minute to go in the power play. Turn of the corner. Zolnowski to the circle. Zolnowski digging in, stops at the goal line. Got it back into the middle. Skahan steps around a defender, but lost the puck into the corner. 50 seconds to go in the power play. Held on by Zolnowski. Dips it back behind at the blue line. Step coming in. Henricks had it walled off, but he's still able to dump it down. All this shorthanded to Zolnowski. Rebels finally send it down the ice. That'll be an icing. And shorthanded, the faceoff will come in the Rebel zone. As Woodbury still trying to add to their lead here despite being on the penalty. Off the draw, Austin Anderson skate backwards with it, try and set things up for Solomon. Can't get clear of their own goal line. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Four check continues to be sticky. Kellner pushing up this time now with Dennis Kopp. Up to the blue line. Kopp nearly knocked it away. Now after it again. Kellner helping him there. Kellner sends it back into the zone. Just four seconds remain, and Woodbury will kill off this penalty. And they spent much of the time in the Champlain Park zone with it, in fact. Kopp fires it down into the corner with five and a half minutes to go here in this second period. An 8-0 lead. They led 7-0 after the first, did Woodbury. Polifka in the corner. Pinned up against the boards by two Rebels. A little help coming from Ben Tauscher. Tauscher from the goal line. Tauscher, short angle shot. Keep chipping at it, and finally it's cleared away. Nicholas Carlson on the back side, able to poke it free. Slipped across the way. Polifka from the boards. Runs it down outside the circle. Cross-eyes pass. Finds its way over on the near side to Austin Anderson. Anderson skating backwards with it. Crosses the ice with another feed to the far side. Back out to the blue line. It's intercepted by Polifka. Polifka sends it down in front. Backhand centering pass and a save for New. Covers up with the glove. Cohen New had both Tauscher and Blissenbach bearing down on him. Blissenbach left it in there with the backhand. Then New was able to intercept. Take it away. Four forty-four remaining here in this second period. Off the draw, it's sent back out in front, and a save. The shot from Rudine. New back-to-back -back saves this time down the ice. Rebels pull it out of the zone, coming for Kale Hyde. 
Eyed up the near side boards. Sailing outside the circle as he sends the puck around. First touch by Luger for Woodbury. Sent out to the blue line. Quick shot coming in. Save made by Lane. Pad save. Kicks right out to Luger. Playing it in the corner with four minutes to go here in this second period. Swept back on the near side. Pass sails through the center of the ice. Picked up by Jerpseth for the Rebels. Jerpseth trying to keep it away from Rudin. Rudin knocks it up into the air. Deflects back into the slot. Played up the ice by Lane on the near side. Tauscher helps it ahead, but it's intercepted and cut off by Cooper New. Through neutral ice, sliding all the way back to Lane again. He'll settle that one down. Leave that for Polifka. Back from the goal line. Luger slides it across the ice. Rebels a chance to pick it up again and do. It's Lang. Takes it down near the goal line. Feeds it out to the blue line for Olsen. Olsen fires that one through traffic. That was sailing. Had some heat on it, but just a little bit too high. Not a bad offering for a blue line blast. Is that one from the goal line? Bouncing all around in close. Lane got a piece of it just to shove it away. And another shot coming in from Lang. Goes wide. 3.20 remaining. Rebels, despite being down eight here, still fighting to do something nobody's done in this Moose Goheen tournament this year, and that's score a goal on Woodbury. Lane makes the save with 3.14 to go here in the second. Got about 18 minutes with which to try and do it. Puck pops up. Lane watched it go. Drops behind the goal line on the far side. Swept back out at the blue line. Worked up the near side boards. Wrapped around. Inside the circle, bounces off in towards the net. Lane able to sweep it away. A diving attempt for Cameron Peach. With 2.50 to go to try and get the Rebels on the board. From the near side, bounces out to Mann. Puck left outside of the blue line, so Woodbury has to touch up. Back it comes in their own zone, pushed up ahead to Miller. Miller sends it in for Mann. Man crosses the blue line with Ingebrigtsen to his left. Man takes the shot. That one goes wide. Off the rebound. He's knocked down to the deck. We'll play on. And New covering up the puck. Hacked out a bit with 2.22 to go. Faceoff comes to the glove side of New. Puck trickles out. Tapped out of the zone. Opportunistic by Kale Ide. Forces Hensler to play it back. Pulls it all the way into the zone once more on the near side. Flying past two defenders. Centering pass. Nobody home. Back out. Top of the slot. Step through. Shot. And that one goes wide. Kellner just missed. Walking in on New, who covers up now on another hack in towards the post. With two minutes to go here in the second period. Coverage of the Moose Goheen 2019 Invitational Tournament here on Youth Hockey Hub, presented by FVP. Makers of the Splash Ice Melt Shaker Bag. Simply tear open and shake on surfaces where safety really matters. It's the Splash Ice Melt Shaker Bag. High shot goes sailing wide to the near side. We go under two minutes to go here in the second period. On the near side, it's Aberwald. Aberwald gets it up ahead, and it's deflected up and in, and the Rebels are on the board. First team all tournament to score on Woodbury and to make it 8-1 to one with a minute 49 to go in the game. It was Aberwald up ahead to Bernovic. It was actually Aberwald who scored it himself. So that'll make it 8-1. to one. Little spring in the step, maybe of the Rebels. After getting on the board this period, things are even at one apiece. They were outscored 7-0, though, in the first. Jumping out to that lead. Back straight away for Luger. Taken away. Aberwald coming back after it again. Crosses the blue line outside the circle, looking for help. Dumps it back behind to a defenseman. It's Olsen. Olsen 
Ends up down on the deck, takes a teammate with him. Averwald fires it into the middle. Chance hacking at it, a bouncing puck in front of Lane. He steers it away with the stick in towards the corner. Wraps around off the boards. Held in far side by Milton for the Rebels. Sends a deflected shot in down towards the corner. Carlson tracking it down. Forces it back up to the blue line for Milton. Back around to the near side for Olsen. Olsen outside the circle. He'll send it around the boards. Met by Carlson in behind the net. Works it back up above the goal line again. Walking along that goal line. Sends it back to the middle. First stick poked by Lane. And out of harm's way. 30 seconds to go here in the second period. Up the ice comes Tauscher. Tauscher sends it around. He'll go for a change. 8-1, but that one pretty of note here in the scheme of the tournament. Yeah, Woodbury's got a big lead, but that's the only goal that's been scored against Woodbury so far this tournament. Here it comes for the Rebels. Off the boards, Olsen flying up the near side. Three defenders there to meet him, and that's going to be how the period comes to an end. But a goal apiece leaves our margin at seven, just like it was after one. Bellows scores for Woodbury. Aberwald scores for Champlin Park. And we'll go to the third, 8-1, the lead for Woodbury in this Pee Wee Championship game of the 2019 Moose Goheen Tournament on Youth Hockey Hub, presented by FVP. Splash, splash, apply a little splash. When your windshield's getting dirty, just apply a little splash. When your windshield's full of grime, bugs, dirt, and snow, just use a little splash and be safe on the road. Splash, splash, splash. Apply a little splash When your windshield's getting dirty Just apply a little splash See safely on the road When you apply a little splash You know what works? FVP Auto Parts work Trusted, tested, selected You know what works? FVP Stay Tuned works Engine buildup doesn't stand a chance. FVP, reach for what works. Back with you here in White Bear Lake. The Moose Goheen 2019 Invitational Tournament. The Pee Wee. Coming down to this, a third period with Woodbury, an 8-1 lead over Champlin Park. Rebels got on the board. Late in the second, matching a second period goal from Champlin Park. They scored seven in the first period. In behind the net. As Woodbury puts the pressure right back on. Miller sends that shot through traffic and New keeps his eye on it and gloves it away on his left side. Zolnowski picked up three in that first including the last two. Ingebrigtsen, Polifka, Skahan, and Tauscher with the other. Bellows scored the second period goal for Woodbury. Aberwald with the tally for Champlin Park. A direct shot off the draw again. New makes the save. 14 minutes and counting. Back at the circle. Sent back across on the far side it goes for Kopp. Caught up along the boards and the Rebels are able to force it out. Only as far as center ice, taken back in by Hensler. Hensler flies inside the blue line, steps inside the circle, fires that shot, deflected. And it is high. And that will take us back out for the neutral ice faceoff. And we do have running time here in the third with the seven goal lead. Slip back into the Rebels zone. Pushed up quickly back to the blue line for Bernovic. Bernovic puts it in onto Aberwald's stick. He fires that one ahead towards the net, then chases it down into the corner, taken away by Woodbury. Cycled over to the near side. Henricks will push it up the ice. Push right back for Lang, trying to pin the puck against the boards. Bernovic over to help, and it's taken away instead by Hensler. He'll push up the ice. Leaves a couple of Rebels behind, but they do enough to fling it off the wall and get it back out to neutral ice. Cop will reset for Woodbury. 
at the near side circle. Stick handling his way around one defender, forced down below the net. Had a chance at a centering pass, couldn't get it away. Tauscher now in the corner with it. Blissenbach, the middleman, as it's knocked away, deflected off the boards. Blissenbach to the corner, trying to settle in the puck. Makes his way towards it. All he can do is tap it to the far side for Tauscher. Tauscher holding there, back to Blissenbach, right on the goal line. He fires, trying to center, and New sticks that right pad out there, then gathers it in using that left glove. Makes another save here with 12 minutes remaining in this game. So since the first, it's been 1-1. And the Rebels not going away here. Keeping the pressure on. Joe Luger. But it's pretty easy to see how Woodbury picked up three straight shutouts. Scored six goals in two of the three. And stormed their way here to the championship game. And the way they scored early and often in that first period. Puck slides out of the zone on this near side. And Blissenbach. Ducks it inside the blue line. Carlson had it for a moment for the Rebels. Played it back towards neutral ice. Pushed back in by Rudine. Rudine had it knocked away. Taken by Ide. Ide sends it down the ice. Played off the glove of Lane. Left there for Luger who loses an edge. Puck is still free in front, slides past Lane, taken away by Rudine. He's able to send it through neutral ice, just past Brody Olsen. They'll wave off the icing. Olsen will stop it before he gets to the goal line and go to work quickly. Pushes it up the boards on the far side, dump back down. Skahan had his pass intercepted. Taken back out by the Rebels, and offsides is going to be whistled. Our coverage brought to you by FVP in their dominating lineup. Reach for what works with FVP oil, antifreeze, stay tuned, batteries, and more. Visit your local automotive shop or retailer for the full line of FVP products. Neutralized faceoff controlled by the Rebels. Lang pushes it ahead to Aberwald, then filters into the middle as Aberwald goes to the boards near side. 10-20 remaining in this one. Back out through neutral ice. Quickly, Woodbury plays it into the corner. So we'll go under 10 minutes. That long shot through traffic, swallowed up off the stick of Henricks. And New makes another save. So again... That last goal of the first period came with two minutes to go. Almost 23 more minutes of scoreless play have followed that for New and the Rebels. Or excuse me, of one goal play have followed that for New and the Rebels. Teams traded goals in the second period, but that's it. Woodbury pushes into the zone with Hensler. Tapped away there by Aberwald. Popped the puck up into the air and stopped the run. Centering pass slides across to the near side. Zolnowski back at the blue line. Steps around a defender. Has an angle at the circle. Fires that one in on New. Made the initial save. Loose puck. Zolnowski was there to try and pick it up. It was taken away instead by Peach. Works it up ahead to Carlson. Carlson sent it along the near side boards as we're under nine minutes to play in this one. Straight up the middle of the ice. I'd playing it backwards off the wall. New, his pass to center ice, touched up by Polifka. Slowed everything down, but the Rebels come away with it again. Able to send it up to Ide at the blue line. They were off sides. Bring us back to neutral ice with eight and a half minutes to go. Don't forget to keep an eye right here on Youth Hockey Hub. YouthHockeyHub.com, the latest schedules of youth games. It's been a full Sunday, championship games, semifinal games, both here at the Goheen and also down the road a bit at the Schwann Super Rink in Blaine, the 2019 Youth Hockey Hub Squirtacular. 
culminating with championship games this afternoon. And then all our high school news and notes throughout the week and select high school games streamed as well. Many of them just like today's games in partnership with FVP. Under eight minutes to go here in this third period. From the blue line, Blissenbach works it down into the corner. Rebels trying to peel it out of the zone. Dump back down to the goal line, out to Aberwald. Aberwald pushed off the puck just before he could get to the blue line. It is slipped out of the zone. Polifka sends it back down inside. Blissenbach, he sends that shot in, and New sliding around, able to steer it away and make another save. We go under seven minutes remaining. Solomon trying to get it away from Lucas Mann rather. Mann works his way all the way around the net. 6.40 to go, puck free just outside the circle, touched up by the Rebels. Bernovic able to send it towards the blue line. It's deflected back towards the teammate, and Brody Olsen brings it all the way out of the zone. That one tapped by Lane as he gets to the goal line. Under six and a half to play here in this third period. A seven goal outburst in the first. It's been pretty even since then, but that's more than enough for Woodbury in that first period. Coming up on the six minute mark. Back through neutral ice. Scahan plays it up ahead. Miller working it in. He fires that shot off the glass. Deflected back down. The Rebels trying to work it out of the zone. Been scoreless here in the third so far with 5.49 remaining. And the seven goal margin for the Bears. Zolnowski with three in the first. Ingebrigtsen, Polifka, Skahan, and Tauscher each with one. Bellows scored the eighth to open up the second. And Trevor Aberwald with the goal for Champlin Park. Came in the second as well. Puck poked to the near side boards. Taken away. Ide works it back up the ice on the near side. Bounces off the boards. Chased down by Kellner. Kellner for Woodbury. Plays it over to the corner. Tries to get it out of the zone. Held in by the Rebels. Under five we go here in the third period. Off the boards. Puck pops straight up into the air. Drops down towards the blue line far side. Bellows trying to work it all the way out of the zone and does. He hops it up over the head of Zolnowski. Down into the Rebel zone. Held in along the boards, just barely on that far side as Kellner got his stick on it to shove it back down. Cop working with Kellner. Kellner holding it there, but it's Aberwald who comes and takes it away off the boards. Aberwald working hard to try and get past two defenders. He's walled off the puck. It's sent back down all the way around to the far side. Sliding towards that half wall in the Rebels zone. Aberwald over to get it as it knocks free to neutralize. 4.15 remaining. Puck slides around, goes high off the glass. Drops down at the feet of the Rebels. They're able to send it out, but only as far as neutral ice. Polifka moves it back down to center ice. That was on the back foot of Rudine. He couldn't play it. Rebels take it away. Push it up the ice with Peach. Peach one on two. He'll fire that shot. It goes high. Might have got a piece of the crossbar after it hit Lane in the glove. Caroms to the far side. Great opportunity, good shot, just missed. 3.40 remaining here in this third period. From the corner, Austin Anderson. Woodbury, Ingebrigtsen flying in. He wanted his second, didn't get the feed. It's pushed out of the zone as Luger couldn't hold on to it. He'll play it backwards. Strong four check from Carlson, able to push it back all the way to the blue line, trying to win the puck. Instead, on the pass, it's taken away by Anderson. Anderson, he'll fire that blast into the glove of Lane with 3.15 remaining. Some pressure coming up for the Rebels in the Woodbury zone. Don't forget for the full slate of FVP products, that includes the Splash Ice Melt Shaker Bag. Simply tear open and shake on surfaces where safety really matters. That's the Splash 
Ice melt, shaker bag. 2.45 to go. Peeled off the boards on the far side by Brent Solomon. Solomon, just a little too far out in front of himself there, allows Woodbury to take it over. Pops back to Milton. Milton turns the sharp angle along the goal line, tries to shovel that to Lane into the back of the cage. He plays it behind the net. Rip down New, sends it back around the boards on the far side. Comes over to this near corner, worked out of the zone by Woodbury. Miller up ice, ridden hard right there by Johnson. Able to keep the puck free. Rebels play it up on the boards on the far side, intercepted by Woodbury. 2-10 remaining. Puck skitters along at the goal line there before finally it's up to Ide. Ide sends it up the boards, keeps it, pushes it into the zone. Had one step on Skahan, who's playing him tough. Ide sends it onto the goal line where it's wrapped around by Woodbury all the way out of the zone. On the near side, New was after it. Just slowed it up enough. Got some teammates there, but Woodbury comes away with it. New after the puck again as it slips free to Henricks. Henricks, he'll fire that shot. Sticked away by New. Just on that blocker side. To make it 135 remaining, another centering pass slides dangerously across the crease. In behind the net for Kopp. Kopp held up and pinned by Olsen with a minute 20 remaining. Back out in front. New trying to find possession at the circle. Push through, down the ice. That'll float on net there, force Lane to play it. Pushes it right up to Cop. Under a minute we go. Cop flying up the ice, a seven goal first period as they usually do, is gonna stand up for Woodbury. Despite goals for each side in the second and an as yet scoreless third, it'll be Woodbury who'll be crowned the champs of the 2019 Moose Goheen Tournament. Coverage here on Youth Hockey Hub presented by FVP, and that means we give you an FVP MVP of the game. And with his hat trick in the first period, Zolnowski, who's working after the puck right there, will earn the honors of FVP MVP. Well, officially, when the final 20 seconds expire. Dominic Kopp plays it to the near side. Back towards him, 15 more seconds. So it'll be Osseo Maple Grove at the Bantam Division, and it will be Woodbury at the Pee Wee Division. Fly up the ice for Hinsler. He'll take the shot. That's wide. Bangs off the boards, and that's how it will end. 8-1 is your final as Woodbury beats Champlin Park here in the Pee Wee Championship game of the 2019 Moose Goheen Invitational. And your FVP MVP of the game, Tanner Zolnowski, the only multi-goal scorer of the eight for Woodbury. Zolnowski got it started with his first goal with 13.09 to go in the first. Then he scored the final two goals of the period with 2.17 remaining and 2.04 remaining, respectively. Congrats to all the teams participating. Congrats to Woodbury and Osseo Maple Grove on their championships. And thanks to all of you for tuning us in here for the 2019 Moose Goheen Invitational Tournament. Coverage today on Youth Hockey Hub presented by FVP. Good night, everybody.